Welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, we will show you how to make this infinitely expandable flying machine sugarcane farm. It is really great because with this farm, you can harvest a lot of sugarcane with very little resources required. Normally, we would show you right now how many materials would be required to build this. However, this is highly dependent on how big you want to make this farm. So the amount of powered rails, normal rails, sand, sugarcane and water would highly vary. However, in this chest, I still have an overview of the materials you will always need and which will not change no matter how big you make the farm. So with that being said, let's get right into building it. So let's get right into it. To build it, you first start by making a 10 wide line like so and then you can go as deep as you want for this video i will keep it a small size but you can go as deep as you want so then it should look something like this then you have to place powered rails on the inside for a minecart and just zigzag your way through over here i have used power rails along the whole length however this is not completely necessary you can just place one powered rail every four or five rails that way you can save yourself some gold and redstone if you have to and be sure that the last rail is a powered rail running into the wall so that the minecart can bounce off and make its way back. Now you have to power it. I usually do this by just making a line in the middle with like redstone blocks. But you can also place redstone torches underneath to save yourself some redstone. So then it should look something like this. Then you go over here at the start. You break through the wall. Over there you place a normal rail. Then you go down one here to over there. Then on the gap over here you place your chest with a hopper into it. On top of the hopper you place a powered rail and a solid block at the end of it. Then behind the hopper you dig out three blocks. And then from the hopper you place a comparator into a solid block. On the back of it you place a redstone torch with a solid block above it. Then a redstone repeater facing towards the hopper again. And finally a solid block. And this should power on your powered rail. This way when the hopper minecart will come back and it has items inside they will be unloaded into the chest. So once this is done, we can move to the next layer. We do this by first going the 10 blocks again, like so. And you do this on both ends. Then on the long sides that run parallel with your powered rails, you place stone brick stairs or any kind of stair on both sides again, like so. Once you've placed your stairs at both sides, you now have to go all the way to the back and place one row of solid blocks. And also do this at the beginning so that it covers the normal rails on both sides like so then you go to the sides and you fill in with sand first two wide at the side then a two wide row in the middle and finally again a two wide row at the side then in the spaces in the middle you place bottom slabs like so across the whole length and then you fill all your stairs and half slabs with water Then once you've done that, it should look something like this. And then the next step is to again surround the whole place with solid blocks. Then you have to place some obsidian or any other immovable block so that the slime blocks won't stick to the surface. And you have to place these along this side and the other side. It is then important to cut out two obsidian at the side of the chest. And this is the one two left from the center. So next to the water and in the center lane, these two blocks you have to cut out as here you have to place two sticky pistons, one facing backwards and one facing forwards. Also see team from the future over here, be sure that you break the two blocks that are below these two sticky pistons. I forgot to say this, but otherwise it will destroy your farm as the slime blocks will take them along. Then on the side of the sticky piston that faces towards the farm, you place six slime blocks with a solid block at either side, like so. Then once you've done this, you can go to the other sticky piston and also place two slime blocks over here. When you've done that, you can fill in the sides of the farm with solid blocks again, so that the sugar cane cannot be popped out. And then we can start making the redstone that's necessary to launch this when the sugar cane is fully grown. So to do this, you go to this slime block and you go up two temporary blocks and you place an observer facing downwards, like so. This will detect when the sugar cane is three tall and then you break this block over here. Then from this solid block, you go out two more and one to the left. Then all the way at the end, you place a redstone lamp and on top of the whole thing, you place redstone dust, like so. Then from the bottom facing into the redstone lamp, you place an observer and this one should be right behind this piston. When you place this observer, it's also important to place another immovable block behind these two slime blocks. It doesn't matter which one, just the one over there is fine. 
so that this part cannot overshoot. Then we go back to the inside and then we also have to place an observer on this slime block. So we place a temporary block over there and face an observer into it and then we can break that block again and it should look something like this. So this is the activation mechanism done. So as soon as the sugar cane will grow enough, it will send it over there. Now we just have to make sure that it also gets sent back. To do this, we go over here and on the line of this observer that we just placed, we place another one facing into the farm. Then we place a solid block below it with a redstone repeater on four ticks, a solid block behind it with a redstone torch on top. Then ab above the redstone torch, we place another solid block with a redstone torch again on the side of it. Then on top of this observer, we place a normal piston and that is the return mechanism also done. So what now remains is to add another layer on the outside ring. So we really make sure none of the sugar cane can escape. You can do this with normal solid blocks. No immovable blocks necessary at this point anymore. Like so. Just make sure that this gap is really here so that on the way back, this can fit through the middle again. So once you've made the walls pretty high, you can start placing in all your sugar cane. And then lastly, to completely finish off your farm, you can place your hopper minecart over here. And that's it. So there you go. That's your flying machine sugar cane farm done. We really love this farm as making it bigger barely costs any extra resources. If you love it as much as we do, be sure to leave a like. And if you would be interested in more Minecraft redstone tutorials, banner tutorials, or Minecraft tips in general, be sure to subscribe. Then as always, thank you very much for watching and we hope to see you in the next one.